Um, this year we've just announced our Places People Play programme, which is all about inspiring people for 2012 and actually coming up with the legacy for 2012. So what we said we needed to do this time was absolutely make sure that the funding programmes were really easy for people to access. You know, that you could easily get um, your grant application in, you could get it quickly decided um, and then you could actually get on with your project so that you've got something ready to go for the, for the Olympics um, next year so that local people could actually feel that they were a part of the Olympics. So the project that, um, that Compact brought for us brought forward for us, um, for Hutton Hall, was um, absolutely uh, great in this respect because it was just absolutely about something that they needed doing fairly quickly to get people playing uh, in the area and uh, we thought it was a really good project and they put it well together and uh, you know, talked with our team at the uh, grants team to make sure that they were getting all the right information in um, and that it was all ready to go. I'm pleased to say I've brought with me a cheque today, so that's just to show you what we prepared earlier. <laughs> I'm delighted to say we're, uh, uh, we are offering £49,554 uh, £49, to Compact for the project at Norton Hall, which is about developing the sports facilities at... Sorry, Hutton Hall. Hutton Hall, which is developing the sports facilities there. Um, which we hope we're going to provide something really exciting for the area. And yeah. um, the other thing just to say is that we all know next year's 2012. This is from our Inspired by 2012 programme. So this is your little bit of the Olympics that's arriving here in your position. Excellent. Thank you very much. Well, it's a big, it's a big, big win today. And I mean, what you learn in this business is that these things don't just happen overnight. The award that Compact won today is the result of, you know, frankly, years and years of extremely hard work. The impact it's going to make is just going to be magnificent. I mean, we've got Hutton Hall in the middle of an estate with lots and lots of needs. Actually, I did a, a street surgery around there um, a few weeks ago, and the big local complaint from local people was that you just had gangs of kids um, hanging out, nothing to do, um, getting into trouble, wasting their time. And so the more that we can get these kids active, the better. There have been issues with um, antisocial behaviour on that pitch. The boys um, and the yeah, So there's been some issues there, so they're actually looking forward now to having a pitch that is going to look better, will be used better, and be used in the way that it's actually intended as well. This money is just going to make a world of difference. It's just, um, uh, we're just totally, we're just delighted. <laughs> it's a shame we didn't quite round it up to 550,000, wasn't it? <laughs>
Yeah. And if you have any issues, then you know you can address them there yeah. as well. And I think just this sounds quite sad, but just having the astroturf, it'll brighten up the whole area. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it was painted recently as well, um, so I think that's already made a difference in terms of how it looks. For women, it's sometimes quite important how yeah, things look. Yeah. We like to play football and netball in a nicer area rather than the current kind of quite grotty pitch. So it will be definitely used. Kids College, obviously, we have um, loads of accidents when they're playing on the pitches. So uh, I think I won't have to stock up as much on my plasters <laughs> in the first day. But, and then secondly, for my kids with disabilities, obviously with their falls and have because I have got some kids with brittle bones. If they are to fall, it'd be a less impact. If it, you know, if they if they do fall, they won't hurt themselves as much. Um, and also to know that you know what there is a space for them because at the moment, okay. yes, Hutton Hall is there, but they don't feel it's so. You know, it's, it's not the nicest places at the moment at the back no, of the football pitch. No, no. Um, so yeah, definitely for my groups, it's it's going to benefit both groups. Mm. I think definitely for kids' college as well, mm. because the kids tend to come into Hutton, they have a lot of outdoor activities yeah. out there as well. Yeah. So it'd be fantastic for them to actually play on a proper. Mm. And for my girls' group, I mean, at the moment we try to use uh, William Park, and culturally it's not very good. So obviously, um, with the AstroTurf being there because it's going to be in an enclosed space, it's going to be easier. And I think parents aren't going to be as yeah. you know, strict with the girls as they are now. The support that we've had locally through the sort of our main contact we have in the local community has been Liam Byrne, uh, is helped us immensely throughout the sort of process of getting this uh, money in and without this support I don't think we could have done it. But it shows what you can do when you work together as a team. I mean we just added up how much money we've now won in the last five years. It's £167 million. And that is, you know, two new health centres, four new schools, two and a half thousand new classrooms, five million quid's worth of road safety projects, hundreds of new houses, a new library. I mean, you know, you can't do this kind of change overnight, but when you get together, work as a team and you stay at it, you can make a big difference. So today's project is just one more step forward and there will be many more to come.